What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Not just Pokemon Sword and Shield. Series 11 rank double content. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a very, very strong team to use for Series 11 because like I said in the last video where we showcased Series 11 for the first time, I want to get really strong teams out of the way first so you guys have really good teams to play on the rank double ladder. But hey, today we are rocking out with a Gigantamax Charizard team that also features Drought Groudon and and chlorophyll venusaur so if you guys are hyped make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously it goes a long way thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel but yo charizard is going to be an absolute monster in this series you guys better be aware of him he's super super strong he's going to be able to dominate battles and push high ranks for anybody using him but getting started with this team we're starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only venusaur and venusaur is going to be super strong in this series as well this one's rocking chlorophyll as its ability so in the drought or the sun whatever you want to call it its speed is going to be doubled it's also holding the weakness policy as the item then rocking sleep powder leaf storm weather ball and earth power for its move set right next to him is charizard i cannot wait to use this pokemon i feel like i haven't used him in forever considering in series 10 he was really nothing nobody ever really used him he really thrives being gigantamax or dynamax whichever form you were using him in but this one has the solar power so he does more damage inside that drought and then he also has the assault vest as his item usually i like to run life orb on my charizard but assault vest works really well especially if he's out in the drought because most of the time you do not need that extra damage boost so switching the life orb out for any other item is really beneficial sometimes but heat wave Air Slash, Scorching Sands, and Ancient Power as his moveset. This thing has two stab moves and two coverage moves, so it can basically hit all different types of Pokemon. Middle left is going to be Porygon 2, and Porygon 2 is just great all around. He's great for countering Trick Room, setting up Trick Room, and dealing a decent amount of damage with Ice Beam and Download Ability. He also has Eerie Impulse to drop Special Attack and Recover for its final move. And then obviously, the item is the Evo Light on the Porygon 2 because you cannot go any other item with that Pokemon. Right next to him is going to be our restricted mod for the squad, and you cannot have a sun team without Groudon. Groudon is just the key to this team right here. He sets up the sun, he lets Venusaur and Charizard get after it and do work. He also has a Citrus Berry as its item, Rock Slide, Sword Stance to set up, Precipice Blades, and Protect for its move set. The only thing I would really like want on this Groudon is probably like Fire Punch, but other than that, I kind of like this team because most of the time if you're bringing uh, Groudon, you're bringing in Charizard, so you really don't need a fire move when it comes to him but i usually would like to have it on him considering it does so much damage in that drought bottom left corner is the one and only incinemar i'm not even going to talk about him he's been used so much in series 10 and i used him on my last on my last team everybody already knows what he does so he's down there if you guys want to check him out and i will probably have a pokey pace for this team down in the description below but uh final pokemon on this team is grimmsnarl and this grimmsnarl setup i love ever since i started playing rank doubles in sword and shield just the screen setup with him with the prankster ability it's just phenomenal we got spirit break reflect light screen and scary face to drop speed Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, mental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Series 11 Drought Charizard team. I swear, every time I use a Groudon team, we always manage to go up against a Kyogre team, and that is exactly what's happening here in battle number one. Going up against a Kyogre team alongside with Tornadas. Obviously, every single Kyogre team has Tornadas. Then he has Incineroar, Serene over here, Thunderous, and uh, Ogunimaru. My arch enemy. I actually was going to use this team. I do have a rental code for this team. So maybe I'll showcase it in the next video. But we'll see. We'll see. How should I go about this one? Kyogre teams are definitely really, really hard to play up against. He does have that token tomorrow to drop a fake out early on. I could go in with Grimmsnarl. Mm, he has no speed, like, uh, like Tailwind or anything. But he does have Nuzzle. Actually, he does have Tailwind. With, the, uh, with that, what's it called? A Tornadus. But I might end up leading the Groudon. Do I lead the Groudon? Is Groudon a good lead? I lead Venusaur. I think Venusaur could be solid here because we can always swap into Groudon here. I'm liking an Incineroar, Charizard, Groudon, and Venusaur team right here. I think we can get some work done. I really do think we can get some work done. Especially if he is leading Toga tomorrow. We can always pop a fake out and then go into a Blades and do a good amount of damage. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see what he does. But we did not lead the ground. I don't know why I said we could fake out to go into a blades. We led the Venusaur, which is fine because I, I can always swap in. I can always swap in my ground and get the speed and kind of roll from there. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What is your favorite Gigantamax Pokemon to use in ranked battles? You got so many cool ones. You got the Colossal teams. You got the Lapras teams. You have Charizard and many more. So definitely let me know your guys' the answers down in the comment section down below. But Intimidate is going to come from both sides. And I think it's not defiant. It's Volt Absorb, I believe. And he probably is physical attacking, so that could be really, really good for us. 
So we're gonna go from here. I think just faking out onto the. Uh, hmm. But who do I fake out onto? I might not even fake out. Yeah, I might just parting shot. I might just parting shot and good drop an earth power. What's Jean's gonna do here? I'm gonna put Incineroar to sleep. I think I am gonna put Incineroar to sleep. We should be able to outspeed it without the drought. And the fake out comes through, and he is gonna go after Venusaur. That's fine. He went gonna fly through here, and Venusaur dodges that. That's big. That's big news. So he's trying to take speed control. I'm kind of cool with that. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, if I swap into what's called here, Groudon, I could make the read that he is going into uh, Kyogre, and just put put the sleep. Uh, what slot should I put the sleep? That's the question. So is Groudon the play though? He's ground on the fight. Or do we just go Charizard and get after it that way? Just Dynamax. Hmm. Let's go ground on. Let's go ground on here. Good drop of blades. Which I might do. Uh hmm. I wonder if he's gonna swap. I, I can definitely see him swapping, right? So I honestly think we blades. And we Put the hmm. slot do we put the sleep? I'm thinking he might swap this. I'm thinking he might swap the Thunderous. Just because we parting shot at him and he's really low. But at the same time, you can definitely swap Incineroar. But if he doesn't swap Incineroar, we have a Blades flying through, so I think that kind of covers both sides. I'm with it all day. He does not swap any. He does not swap any! Okay, I'm cool with that. Just ground on out speed. Ground on out speed. Show me ground on outspeeds that Incineroar. We do. That is lovely. We know it has no effect. We just need to land on this Incineroar, which it does. Some nice damage going over there. We don't pick up the KO. That thing's able to eat. Flare Blitz is going to fly through here. He's going to go down and recoil damage. We'll take the trade all day. Oh, he goes after ground on. Ooh, okay. Okay, why are you going after ground on? Did he misclick? Or maybe he, may, he maybe thought I was protected. He probably thought I was protected. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. So, definitely gonna go into Kai over here, right? And if he does, we're just gonna hard swap our ground on. He's gonna rain dance, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm cool with it, with him rain dancing. Because in that case, I could just set up a sword dance. Or you know what? I'm just gonna rock slide. If he wants to tailwind or rain dance, that's cool with me. I'm just gonna put him to sleep. And I'm just gonna put him to sleep. We'll play a slow one. Is he gonna rain dance here? Let's go. Or tailwind. He's gonna taunt me. Okay, that's a smart turn. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. That's a good turn. We can't sleep out her. He's still a slump, and hopefully Rock Slide can double connect here. Which would be dandy. It does. Lovely. Get some damage off on these guys. Probably not that much. Yeah, that's solid. Nice little half skis here. So now we're posing a huge threat on these guys. He's going to have to eject button out and show his last Pokemon, which it has to be the Kyogre, right? It's got to be Kyogre. So I could actually Dynamax here. I could actually die next year and try to finish off this battle. What do I save the Charizard? I think I'm going to go into a Dynamax Venusaur here. And just go for the hard swap, right? Seems like the play. Just swap into you and then just Dynamax Venusaur and go into a Vine Lash. I mean, I could protect, but uh, what's our stats looking like? That's my question. What is our stats looking like? We're just minus one on attack. Okay. So nothing. So we have no decreases here. So I'm I'm totally fine with Dynamaxing and going into a full Vine Lash and swapping. I'm cool with that all day. Because again, weather control with Groudon and Kyogre is the main is the main purpose. It's the main purpose. If you can get it, you're gonna win the battle. We're gonna swap here. We're gonna go for the Intimidate, and I, I do think uh, Thunder has some physical attack in his own turn. He's probably gonna wake up here though. He is probably going to wake up here. And let's just see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. So, big old Dynamax or Gigantamax. We do have G-Max Venus one, too. It's a double G-Max squad here. Double G-Max squad. Yeah, I love it. So we'll show off Venus in this first battle. We'll definitely get a Gigantamax Charizard in. In another battle. He's still... That's rough. Three turns sleep. This thing doesn't protect. He's gonna water spout. Hey, yo, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guy. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. As Kyogre goes down, we're going to take Weather Control, we're going to take Speed Control. That's going to be pretty much GG's. I don't mind that my Incineroar went down. But a big old G-Max Vine Lash doesn't KO? Hmm? 
Hmm? What you mean? What you mean? But still, this stuff is going to chip away. Uh, does that KO? I don't think it will. It's going to bring it close, though. So we're getting some damage off. We're slowly chipping away. I will change up weather. And I can double protect here. If I if I double protect... I mean, I don't have to because he can't... He cannot change up weather. I really don't have to double protect here. I think I'm just going to protect my Kyogre. Or not my, <laughs> my Kyogre. My, uh... My Groudon. Again, we have speed. We have lots of speed. I could slow him down. I could go get a special defense boost, but I think I'm just gonna slow him down at this point. But he's dead to the vine damage. I'm just gonna take out you with a max strike. With a max strike, baby. He's gonna end up withdrawing the Kyogre. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna end up withdrawing the Kyogre. And again, he still has Dynamax. He does still have Dynamax here. We're gonna protect our ground on here. We are going to start slowing these guys down. Or did he use his Gigantamax max yet? I don't think he did. I don't think he used his Dynamax yet. Oh, change the weather ball. <laughs> it was a weather ball, dude. I wanted the speed drop. <laughs> I wanted the speed drop so bad. That's rough. That's rough news. Venus was going to shake off Taunt. Uh, he is going to swap back for weather control. And maybe set up a Tailwind go into a water spout. Hmm. Smart play. Look at him that all day. Vine Lash will take him out this turn, so I might just guard up on my Venusaur. Probably going to guard my Venusaur. Let's do it. Uh, we go for double protect. I think we just go into this rock side here. Because how many turns do we have left in the Lash? It's gone? What you mean it's gone? Oh, wait a minute. It's on their side. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Two turns left in Lash. I was going to say, we just Dynamax him. Did they nerf it? But nah. We just checked the wrong side, but let's max guard here. Play this one slow. Play it slow. We got this one. We got this one if we can play it slow. We still have our lovely little charge right in the back. Tiger's gonna get off one shot. It is gonna take out Groudon, and then it's going to turn into a 2v1 situation. Which is dandy. Which is dandy. Who's he dynamic? That's the real question. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the Twin Otters, right? I actually hope it's Kyogre. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This dude. This dude, there's no way he survives a, a Vine Lash, right? There's no way that survives a Vine Lash. I think this dude might have messed up a little bit. We gonna guard. We guarding. What's he gonna do here? He's gonna Tailwind, so he's gonna start taking speed. Go ahead, take out my... My Groudon. Go ahead, take out my Groudon. That's fine. That is fine. I don't need him anymore. I don't want him anymore. Because now... Now you're getting the Vine Lash. Now you're getting the Chipsky damage. This is why the Vine Lash and G-Max Wildfire is phenomenal. Look how much damage it, it eventually does. This should KO, right? Yes, sir. Kyra, get out my face, dude. Get him out of here, dude. We are going to start this series off 4-0. Because in the last video, we went 3-0. I haven't played since recording. I usually only really play a recording. But this will lead us to 4-0. We're looking super good here. Good call by me to actually Dynamax this Venusaur at the time. Worked out really well for us. And now we have this lovely Charizard in the back end. This beautiful Charizard. But yo, I'm telling you, like, just a Vine Lash damage or Wildfire damage in general will do so much. Over four turns, it's a crazy amount of damage. It is a crazy amount of damage, but we'll just Air Slash over on here and then drop a nice big old, uh, I guess Weather Ball could be our best bet here. But I think he just cancels, right? He does not cancel. He goes straight for the Hurricane. That's going to take out Venusaur, actually. And my Charizard Air Slash should come in here. Pretty much finish this one up. If not... The Vine Lash is going to do it. We still have one more turn in that. That's huge. Air Slash comes through. Charizard gets one turn in this battle, and it ends up being one of the most important ones. But there you go. 1-0 to start off today's video. Let's hop into our second battle. Look to go back to back. I'm feeling real good. Coming off a strong first battle, grabbing ourselves that win. We're hopping into battle number two here and going up against a cool Xerneas team that also features Chandelure, Suicune, Gudra, who I haven't seen in ages, and then he also has Tapu Lele alongside with Trick Room, Staka Taka. Okay. Um, trying to think. I'm trying to think how should I go into this one? I might just Dynamax the Charizard right up the rip. There's no way of gaining, uh, gaining weather. So I might just go into these two. I mean, I could go, uh, I could save my Charizard and go into Venusaur turn one. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? Just have Flash Fire, which I really do have to watch out for. I have to watch out for that Flash Fire on this hand lord, but I am going to lead that Charizard. Um... Definitely want Venusaur for Rocking with Sun. And then I might go Porygon 2 just way in that back end. Just in case we need him. He does have Ice Beam, which could work really well up against a Gudra in late game. 
And he's just such a strong late game Pokemon. He really is with the recover and eerie impulse, especially up against physical attackers like Xerneas or Gudra. It can work really, really well. So we're gonna bring Porygon 2 in here, have some fun with that one, and look to go back to back for today's video. But yo, that first battle was solid. It was a solid first battle. We definitely came in clutch, playing some good swaps, Dynamax and Venusaur at the right time, and just the Vine Lash damage, just doing crazy amounts, just crazy amounts, which is really, really cool. But let's see if we can go back to back here. We are sitting 4-0 on Series 11. 4-0 on Series 11, that ain't bad. That is not bad. Hopefully we can make it 5-0 here, and then potentially 6-0. We can be rocking. We can really be rocking. But who are you leading, kind sir? Let me see. But I'm having a blast with Series 11. I really am. I just, I just think it's a fun series to bring back. I'm going to go Suicune and the Lele. And I was going to lead the Venusaur just because of the Suicune. But I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this. He's probably going to try to Tailwind. Um, I could drop a Blades. And I think I am going to Airstream. Do a lovely little Airstream action here. Just so we can get speed. And then we could just Blades here. It'll work really, really well. I don't see him Dynamaxing any of these guys. I see him trying to get off a Tailwind, you know? I see you trying to get off a Tailwind. The Solar Power is definitely going to help us out on whatever move we use. But uh, let's just go for... Oh, I could Swords Dance. I can Swords Dance! Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to Swords Dance. Just Dynamax and go into this... Uh, and go into this Airstream. I'm going to boost my attack. I'm going to boost my speed. We're going to start ripping onto these guys. We going to get after it. We are going to get after it. So, a giant Pokeball comes out. Mwah. Huck that bad boy out here. Charizard looks cool. He looks like he's a dinosaur now. And why does he look like a dinosaur when he's gigantic? I just realized that. He got like a dinosaur egg pattern on his stomach. But hey, I don't judge. He does work. He does work all around. He is going to protect. Ooh, he protects the Lele. He's not double protecting. I'm loving it. Oh, yo, what a turn. Well, dude, I think we just set ourselves up to win there. Look at that. Big old airstream coming out here. We're not even touching Lele, and we're setting up a Swords Dance. He's setting up a Swords Dance. He could be Tailwinding, which I'm I'm actually fine with if he does Tailwind. We got Swords Dance here. That's plus two on him for attack, and plus one on the speed board, which I'll probably go into another airstream after this. Yep, there's Tailwind. And I'm just going to go into a Blades and an airstream, because Blades should be able to take out the, uh, the Suicune. And what does this thing have? Leftovers? Okay. So this thing's rocking leftovers. So Blades, I think, should be able to take out Suicune. And then giving us another speed advantage with this Tailwind. Or not this Tailwind. Giving us another speed boost with this Airstream should be good. And then final turn, I definitely want to go into Wildfire. Just so I can have that chip damage just laying out on the field. It's just always good. It's just always good. So let's see what he does here. Let's see this dude's play. Let's go into a water move he can. But we're just taking advantage of everything we got here. You're taking advantage. And that's the best part, is when you're using a weather team and the guy has no way of controlling weather. I mean, everybody does now because there is Dynamax. You can Dynamax to change weather, but this guy really does, doesn't have a lot. And I think he's saving his Dynamax for potentially Xerneas. But we'll see what he does. We shall see what he does. And I don't see him Dynamax and Suicune just to change weather. It's just, that just doesn't seem like an option, right? Side shot going to come out here. That did a good chunk. Did a good chunk of damage, but Airstream's also going to fly here. Probably making Groudon faster now, and that's a big damage. That's a big old damage. Groudon could potentially pick up a huge double kill here. A huge double kill. Let's see the play. Yep, Groudon Blades comes out, and it connects on both of them. That should be a double kill, right? Plus two. Get him out of here. Both of them. Out my game. Out my series. This is my series. Series 11 is Jeans' series. Get him out my face. We don't want him here. Solar Power's going to chip away, and like I said... I want to try to get off a uh, Wildfire on my last turn. But I think he's going to bring out Xerneas, and he might Dynamax the next guard Xerneas. Or do we think he's going to go into a Human? Which could be a play. I really want to see who he goes out into. There's Xerneas. I knew we had the Xerneas all day. And who's his final Pokemon? Hopefully it's not Chandler. It is going to be Gudra. And Gudra could be his Dynamax Pokemon. I can definitely see that happening. I think Ken Geomance, but I think Tailwind would end after that, right? Okay. Now he has two turns left with Tailwind, so I think Blades is just our safe play to go into. And then I I want a Wildfire, but I don't know who to Wildfire. Right? I think he's gonna Dynamax Guja, so I think Wildfire and Xerneas is the same play. I don't see him Dynamax and Xerneas. I think Guja's his last ditch effort here. I think he Dynamaxes him and he rolls from there. 
I mean, I don't mind if he Dynamaxes Xerneas. I just don't want him to guard this Wildfire. Because you guys have been seeing in the first battle, the Wildfire or Vine Lash damage is just too much. It's just so much. So, here's the Pokemon he's Dynamax. It might be the Xerneas. I think I saw him come out that Pokeball. Let's see. It is going to be Xerneas. You just don't want to guard. You just do not want to max guard. And I could see a max guard flying out here. If he was smart, he would have guard. Let's see what he does. Let's see his play. He does. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. So we do not. We end up not getting off a wildfire. Kind of like one bit. Blade's going to get blocked on that slot. But we are going to be able to hit up Gudra if it connects. It does connect. And also some big. Oh my lord. Hey. Hey. Chill on him. Oh, Groudon dodges a power whip. Money, please. Money, please. So we know we outspeed a lot of these guys. Um, I could protect my Groudon just to make sure we get speed. And that might be my play. I mean, I, actually, I'm just going to... Mm, actually, let's do this. Let's just protect the Groudon. Yeah, let's protect the Groudon on this turn and just go into a... Don't we have Heat Wave on this thing? Yeah, let's rock out with the Heat Wave because Heat Wave will take out Guja. And I think Charizard should be able to outspeed Xerneas. The speeds are the same. They have Tailwind and we're plus two. Tailwind and plus two speed is the same thing. I'm pretty sure. Heat Wave comes in here. Gudra dodges it. What you mean? What you mean? Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. That's going to take out my chunk. Oh, he goes after Groudon. Hopefully he double down to Groudon. He knows Groudon's stacked up. He knows Groudon's stacked up. Dude. He knows Groudon's ripped up. Groudon is out here ripping. This thing is orb. And this thing's gonna go for a breaking swipe. I'm cool with that. Okay. This Charizard should be able to eat up a breaking swipe. And the attack drop to the Charizard will not do a lot of that. Or will not do anything. We're special attacking. But now we fully take speed. Now we fully take speed, and this should be over with. Because Tailwind's gone. And is this gonna. I didn't even swap this game, yo. It's gonna be clean sweep. It's gonna be clean sweep, it's looking like. It's looking like Queen's clean sweep. Let's see. Let's see how we do here. Charizard's Heat Wave flies. It connects finally onto that Kudra. We take him out, and Blade should be able to come out here and finish this one off. Do it. Do him dirty. Get him out of here. The clean sweep. Yo, this Gigantamax Charizard team is thriving. 2 0, oh, baby. We dominate the first battle. Second battle, we just totally killed it. We totally killed it. Clean sweep. Now we can hop into our third and look for that perfect record. It's time to grab ourselves yet another perfect record for Series 11. We are sitting at 5-0 in total, 2-0 on the video, 3-0 in our last video, and we're looking to get that perfect record once again in back-to-back -back video. So we're going up against a Politoed, Seismitoed, Swift Swim Team alongside with Ludicolo, Whimsicott set up Tailwind, and then he also has a Raichu for Fake Out and Nuzzle Control, and then Urshfu in that back end. Okay, um, hmm, how should Jeans play this one? How should I do it? How should I do that? I mean, he has weather, so we definitely have to bring Groudon. I think in the back end would be your best bet, and I think Venusaur would be a solid lead. I'm going to do that. That He doesn't have a lot of physical attackers. I mean, he does, but he has a Ties with who's physical. He has Earth who's physical, but that would probably just use, like, his critical hit move, which will neglect that. So I just don't think there's a point of going into it. Anymore. I think Porygon 2 and Charizard is your best bet here. I think I'm with it all day. I think I'm with it all day. We could set up screens. Screens could be nice. But I'm going to rock out with these guys. I am going to do this. I am going to do this. But a really good technique to use with Charizard is throw Wimscott on our team. Throw Wimscott with Sunny Day, Tailwind. It really will benefit your Charizard. Just giving it that speed advantage, making it do a ridiculous amount of damage. And then if someone wants to change the weather, you have that Wimscott with Sunny Day to change it up again. Usually when I'm on that Charizard team, I really do like to have that. But this is going to be his lead. His lovely little lead here. We can go in with these two. And I got my Pokemon showing here. And I'm going to put that Lugia to sleep. Let's say Night Night to Lugia. I am going to say Night Night. Good Weather Ball. Weather Ball could be good, but we are going to see Powder Turn 1. And then I think I could Swords Dance. I am going to Swords Dance here. We're going to see if we can set up another Swords Dance, man. If we can set up another Sword Dance, that could be deadly. That could be deadly. And Venusaur might be able to outspeed Lugia even if he Tailwind. And that's what I'm hoping for. Because I could see him Dynamaxing and then going into a uh, 
and then going into the what's it called? Oh, he protects. He protects. I was gonna say I can see him Dynamax and just going into that. Uh, it protects any tailwinds. So good thing we are sword dancing. The power's gonna fly through here, and it's gonna get blocked. So he could taunt me. He could taunt me, and that could be a play. So I might swap out, thinking he's going for an air. Move. And I could just swap into Porygon and end up Dynamaxing. I might end up doing. I might end up doing that because then I could just air impulse. I just go from there. They do it. They do that. And is it, this thing could be weakness policy. That could be a problem. Now let's do this. I, I, I seriously think he might taunt me here. Because honestly, I wanted to know if the Venusaur could outspeed. But the taunt is definitely on the field, and I think his wings kind is rocking it. As a move. Let's see. Let, let, let's, let's just see. Let's just see how we're doing. I mean, this dude's really thinking of what he's going to do, too. As if he didn't have time, we could have just probably sleep out. Because I think Venusaur, again, would have been able to outspeed him. But I'm going to end up Dynamaxing my Grabada. Over my Charizard and over my Venusaur. Because we are Super Saiyan, so this thing's an absolute monster. He's an absolute monster. So there's the Dynamax coming out from Lugia. Right? Yeah. Lugia getting an early Dynamax here. We're going to match his restricted Dynamax with my restricted Dynamax. But yeah, look at cool Lugia. Such a cool Pokemon. I think it's rocking multi-scale. And it could be weakness policy as well, which could be scary. Because if that's the case... Like, I don't care that he's multi-scale. I care more so that he's weakness policy. <laughs> because weakness policy setup is dirty. It really is strong. It's super strong. Let's get my main man out here. Groudon looks like... His head looks like a... Uh, the thing that you put on the razor when you get your hair cut. <laughs> like one of the number sizes. <laughs> exactly what it looks like. He's gonna fling. Oh. He's flinging a berry at it. That should be super effective. He's gonna proc policy. This dude's crazy. But he does take off multi skill. Which is cool. The special attack. Wow. Plus three. Plus three. And he's gotta be going. He's gotta be going after my. Uh, go for the hailstorm. You know, he's gotta be going after Venusaur, right? Oh, he goes after Groudon. Can we eat that? We do eat. <laughs> we do eat, which is good. Uh, I could pop a Trick Room. Trick Room might be a play here. I don't know. Hell is popping. We have a nice little berry here, which is lovely. Our Citrus Berry. Gives us a little bit more HP, but... See how much damage. I don't see us taking him out with this, because it's not stab, and this thing is super good. So, good amount of damage. I'll take that trade all day. Because I think our Pokemon can actually win this. And I might just pop a Trick Room here. I might go, I might go Trick Room into a, uh, a Protect, a Max Guard. But that might be my plan. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Garden, Trick Rooming. I think my, I think my team can win in a Trick Room. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. But yo, I want this winning record so bad. I want it so bad. Not a winning record. Perfect record. We already got a winning record. But I want this one. I want it. Let's see this play. He's going to withdraw the Whimsy. He withdraws Whimsy and he's going to go into Urshfruit. But Urshfruit is going to pop here. And we guard him. Come on, yo. Move down. Straight into my Groudon. Another Hailstorm into my Groudon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run it, baby. Trick Room pop. All right. We thrive. We are thriving. We're in the driver's seat. We totally have speed. Buffett's coming out here. Slowly chipping away. Just doing little chipsies. Just chipping. I can see a guard coming out from uh from Lugia. I'm not even gonna lie. I can see a guard coming out from Lugia. But uh, I'm honestly just gonna ice beam here. And then I'm just gonna drop a quake over on the Urshfu. Because now we have speed. Now we have speed. Just love me. Just love me. Baby. Let's see his dude's play. Again, I'm telling you, he's going to guard here. So I think I made the right call by doing this. And we have the Ice Beam flying into it just in case he doesn't guard. And Ice Beam might be able to KO him. It's super effective. I know it's not stab, but we do have Download Rocket. And everyone loves some Download. I know I love me some Download. And that's not the Water Earth, though, is it? I hope it's not. There's the guard. There's the guard read. Always making some nice reads here. 
Sucker Punch, Fine Throw. I think we should be able to eat that up. That's lovely. Lovely little easy eat. Ice Pink's gonna get blocked. More importantly, we are able to get off this huge Max Quake, which is our final Dynamax turn. And he's out of Dynamax turn. So there's that. Get him out of here. It was plus two. That takes him out. I know my uh, Porygon 2 can take out a regular Lugia. Well, not Dynamax Lugia with an Ice Beam, so I'm not really worried about the Lugia anymore. We thrive. We're playing good. We're playing good. We're making some nice reads. You know, Max Guard, man. Max Guard is so big. It's so big. It's so good. It's so good. I, I, I honestly forgot how good it was. You know, this guy brought Seismitoad without no weather. <laughs> without no weather. Without no Swift Swim. That's what we get for not being in Mash Ball tier yet. We're in Ultra Ball tier. Is the season just reset it? But I think if we win this one, I think we I think we make Mash Ball tier. But Ice Beam gonna fly out here. I could protect, but I think I might just Rock Slide. Actually, no, we're gonna go into Blades. If we get off of Blades, that'd be awesome. I kind of wanna I kind of wanna swap the ground on, but I think we're fine regardless. I think we're fine regardless. He just has Whimscott. Whimscott's not gonna do a lot of damage. Lugia's gonna go down here. Seismitoad is not really a threat when Venusaur's out on the field. Like we have a Venusaur who has Leaf Storm, which is one of the strongest Leaf moves, and it's four times super effective. Onto a Water and Ground type. No Ice Team flying through here. This is exactly what I was talking about. I'm not worried about you, Luke. Just get out of my game. We don't want you here. And maybe, just maybe, Groudon can be a bit slower here, and Trick Room can really benefit us. And it does, yo. Blaze coming out. This should be able to KO, right? Plus two. Oh, get him out my face, dude. Get him out my face. Perfect record on its way. Perfect record is on the way. All aboard the Perfect Record Series Levy Chain. Choo choo, baby. Choo choo. Get in the driver's seat. And I want to see something. We did not lose a Pokemon yet again. We did not lose a Pokemon yet again. And in that case, I don't want to lose a Pokemon. So he's either going to have to cancel or take up onto this Ice Beam. Because I'm going to protect. I'm not losing this Groudon. I'm going to protect here. And if he stays in, then I'll swap Groudon next turn. But we're not losing this guy. He cancels battle. Perfect record and yet another sweep. Another perfect record for Series 11. That is now back-to-back -back videos with them, which is absolutely amazing. Series 11 starting off strong. We are now 6-0, and and we are in Master Tier now. There's six wins in a row. They give us Master Tier, which is absolutely amazing. I love it so much, but yo, this team right here, super, super powerful. We definitely showed it off to its fullest potential. First battle, we won Weather War up against Kyogre and dominated from there. And then the second and third battle were both clean sweeps, and we just outplayed our opponent from the start of the battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.